Niches and nuances came about because I realised that there were artists that needed to be represented but they needed somebody to sort of connect them up with some buyers and it's always good to have a group and a collective going. We have shown at Gallery 54 in Mayfair, Shepherd's Market Mayfair, for the last four years. So this is our fourth selling exhibition and we have two brand new artists this year. Each year we tend to have a different mix of artists so it's always about promoting the work of sort of emerging to mid-career level artists. So the two other artists here this, um, this week have got quite a lot of, you know, they've been established, they've established themselves. But in the past we might have had people who've never shown before. So it's sort of a mix of um, different levels of of their careers. So my work is inspired by things um, that have either happened in my life or things that I've imagined that are going to happen or have already happened, if that makes sense. So sort of a collection of ideas that I then create into stories and sort of put onto either paper or canvas. So they become, um, they sort of end up having identities, they build up their own identities within the stories that I tell. I'm very much inspired by women and how they are perceived in society, how they are, uh, you know, how they look, how they behave, how they, how they dress, how they think, all of those things are very much sort of scrutinised and I'm just fascinated by that. I'm very interested in American culture and also how that sort of, um, how Americans deal with British culture, so apart from the fact that it's to do with Harry who's a royal, um, I've met lots of Americans in the past and seen how they struggle with uh, British culture. But these two are so relevant and I just love the text around these two as well. The Great Escape and I think that we all feel like we want to escape at the moment. Uh, it's still re a relatively new relationship, you know, sort of under five years old if you like which in the grand scheme of relationships is very short, um, but so much has happened already in that time, and I'm just interested in how, um, in terms of globalisation as well, how their, um, you know, their partnering will you know, go forward and what will happen next. I'm really fascinated by that. Lindsay is a British but also Peruvian artist, and a little bit of Italian in there as well. So I think that comes through in the work and that she she has a very strong understanding of colour and I believe that all of us do that are in the exhibition this year which is great we have that sort of running through the exhibition in terms of a really strong bright palette she um, takes photos not only of landscapes but also of people she's interested in light contrast and contours and she's self-taught so she's still very much um, building new things into her work all the time. She's very much inspired by her travels. She was explaining how her pictures are not actually photoshopped, uh, although some people have already asked her because they're not quite sure they understand the, um, the structure of the image and they think that she's put the, the C, well, I can see that it's a C and that someone is looking down, but other people are a little bit confused about the um, you know, the way that the pitch is constructed and not quite sure where the horizon is. But I can see it straight away that it's, this is C and it's not supposed to be sky, it hasn't been superimposed onto anything. And this is exactly how she saw it. And you can see the shrubs and the sort of trees in the foreground very much sort of frame the piece. And I think that's why it's so popular. People like the structure of it. So Marek was born in the former Czechoslovakia and he studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Prague. His work is very much built up around sort of geometry, and you can see this very strong mark making. He's a highly trained artist, and he also has his work in many collections worldwide as well. His mark making is very strong. Also, you can see that he uses some really sort of bright neon colours as well, which I think is quite unusual in terms of the context. So the images are, you know, the sort of have a a sort of historical element to them. Marek's work, he nearly always does a lot of figurative pieces. This is obviously something that we can all recognise and it's the face of Medusa. And the way that he's constructed it, I love the way he's positioned it on the canvas. Also the neon, the very bright orange that you can see really brings out the sort of 
Um, it highlights the features of the eyes and the nose and the mouth and the hair. I could see this in a nightclub. You know, it doesn't have to be in a museum or we don't always, we can also think about the historical context of it and the stories, the behind the image, but also put it into a modern context and think about that. So it sort of modernised it, which I really like. As well as the larger pieces, the more expensive uh, printed pieces and also the original works on canvas, we al I also like to make sure that we have some smaller prints, which nearly always sell. And it means that people can enjoy art that may not be able to have um, you know, a larger piece as well. It's about space. You could put something in your piece in your bathroom or your flat. It's a really nice way of making sure that everybody can have a piece. And also for the younger collector as well. So making sure that people buy early, not only look at art digitally is really important, but also buying physical piece and having that and keeping it as part of a, a long-term kind of investment. I think that's really important. It does, it does start you know, when you're a teenager, when you're in your early 20s, not only when you're older and you can afford something more expensive. So I think it's, it's a nice thing to have and it's something that you keep. It's a bit like jewellery. You know, you don't buy jewellery and then sell it, you know, get rid of it. It's something that you always equate with a time or a place or person. Mm -hmm.